another day. Welcome to another vlog. Different energy this time. Was too depressing. <laughs> My latest, like my last vlog was super depressed. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> but also it's normal, you know, like in life, it's not always flowers and happiness and beauty. Sometimes we just look really bad and we just feel really shit. And that's life. Today, I'm trying to be better. <laughs> Say hello to Arthur. Yes, he's being a good boy today. Te amo, meu amor. Yeah, okay. You can go now. Yeah, thank you for saying hello to everyone. Everybody loves you. So it's 2 p.m. and I have only drunk coffee once today, which is literally insane. Usually by this time I am in my third or fourth coffee. So, yes. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I'm super over the place. But it's part of life as well, you know, like just to be crazy and just to get crazy sometimes. We do that. Let's pull a card from my deck, the ambitious streamers. We have so much to catch up. I keep on going every day closer, even when I can't see it. So I spent the whole day cleaning and doing laundry and training Arthur. My house was a nightmare and I cannot work creatively. Like if my house is a mess, I won't function well. I don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but for me, for example, if I only have like videos to edit, I can sit down by the computer, put my earphones and just disappear into the void. But if I have to paint or draw or do anything creative really, it's not like on my computer. Because I think that editing videos it's creative. But anyway, um, I just can't do that if my house it's upside down. It blocks my energy. I think that's more than a month. Uh, since the last time I painted, I think that I painted like 14, 15th of June and today it's the last day of July, so that's just insane. I got this in the mail today. Can you see? <laughs> don't know if I'm helping, but I got these in the mail today. I can't wait to stick them around and just to spread that in town and also I'm going to Dublin. I'm going to Dublin on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So I have a couple of days and that's the main thing that I have to talk about in this vlog. It's gonna be getting ready to the market. That's what we are going to do today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday and probably Sunday as well. My, my sister is coming over from Barcelona and she's going to be there with me and also maybe my partner and my brother as well. I'm gonna bring my whole family. Don't care. Yeah, I have loads of things to do, loads of things to get ready for this weekend, but I want to show you because I got it in the mail. Um, the postcard for July and for August. So this is July's postcard. Oh my god it's it's just so stunning it's so beautiful i think this is the most beautiful postcard i have ever made and the other one it's from my old artwork you guys saw on the last uh, vlog it's so glossy can you guys see yes now and then the back i did it purple and green i don't know if you can see the green but anyway it's super 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 cute i can't wait to ship to, to ship them to my patrons so that's the thing that we are going to do today we are packing and shipping some of um the patron orders not orders because i don't i was thinking about that i was thinking about getting a secret shop for my patrons only and then just put uh, products available there um, so yeah if you like this or 
these or these or the sun matching the sun and the moon so this is the bundle super cute vase of flowers matching with frog smoking that's how uh, that's how we do things over here you know oh. Arthur scared the shit out of me he just opened the door yeah he knows how to do that he's a border collie there you know when you have so many things to do that you just don't do anything and talk with a camera? That's what we are doing right now. We have to pack patron orders and we have to make small paintings for the market. And also I would love to do some DIY thing for the market because I want to put my prints in a stall that it's like up not just the flat table i want like things um like little boxes and things inside the boxes a sort of like niche thing kind of vibes i don't know if i'm able to do that on my own i wish i had more time so i could ask my friend damien to build something with me because he builds stuff but like it's already too late i should have done that before Okay, so let's just start. Let's just do something. I will start by packing the patron orders and, and then we go from there. You know, like, let's see if I can paint today. This one, just like all games, but I feel like this one especially feeds, you know, you could implement. I just got an email saying that I didn't get the job I applied. I went to the interview last week. If you watched my last vlog, you saw that I was talking about that, about starting to look for other jobs and ways to increase my income, which is fine. At least I got an amazing pair of boots that day. <laughs> That I went to the interview. Oh my god, this sucks. But it's okay as well. Like, what can I do? I am busy writing thank you notes for my patrons. So, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not meant to be. You know, like, that's something that I... I started like paying attention in life and also like thinking that everything kind of happens for a reason and oftentimes we really 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 want something and then we just set ourselves for a disappointment because then we don't get the thing but like when you don't really want the thing you don't really get disappointed you know what i mean like I think that would be amazing to work there because from many options that I was seeing, there was the place that suited me the best, both uh, with the job part, the working part, and also the hours and the schedule really fitted my schedule. But it's not just that place that can do that. Many other places can. So I really think that I can... Just keep looking for things that make sense for me and the right place that I meant to go will appear for me, if any, because I really think that I have my guardian angels looking after me and I know that if I'm passing through a moment of like needing more or whatever, like I all I have to do is just um kind of ask and wait and I know that 
everything is going to be okay and I can keep looking for jobs or I can just try and develop different projects for my own business, which is not a bad idea at all. I have some projects that I really want to develop, for example, my poetry book that is just, um, I'm not doing anything about it. I also want to see if I can offer more workshops this year and also, um, you know, like many, many things that I want to do, but I haven't been able to do be them because uh, I was too stressed, but like receiving this answer now kind of shows me that I will have more time to develop these kind of projects and also to spend more time on my Patreon and doing my, the things for my Patreon because people are supporting me there and I really want to give them what they're looking for. So, for example, today, tonight, we have a meeting in, on Patreon, which will be amazing uh, at 8 p.m. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see who will show up and how we can manage everything and get together and talk. I really want to talk with them about the things that I have been offering to see if people have um, any ideas. I think that I will just get back to it. I'm literally writing thank you. So uh, I will focus here a little bit more. I also want to talk about a thing just before I go. I was in a really high vibrancy today earlier when I was talking with the camera and after getting the results, I kind of like drop my my happiness was I was like super happy and then it kind of just dropped and then I found myself kind of like mm, kind of wanted wanting to be melancholic but honestly rejection is protection there is a youtuber that I um I always watch her videos her name is Shayna at Purple Palace and I love her so much and she oftentimes talks about that, she talks about how often rejection is protection. We think that we want something, but in reality, that thing is not meant to be ours, it's not meant to be something good for us, or it's just not ours, you know, like, it's not that it's a bad thing, it's not that, like, I applied for this exhibition and I didn't get selected, that, like, Maybe we were were not we are not ready for that opportunity, or maybe the opportunity is not ready for us, and it just brings so much peace when you think about that. Like when you just realize that I can't control anything. Like there are like what I can control my CV, the interview being like, uh, looking looking well, not being like, you know, like. I can't only control so much. I cannot decide the outcome of most things. So why stress about it? And why we have this culture of letting things define our humor? Like, I simply refuse to get sad about that, really. It just means that I, okay, I won't have much money, but at least I will spend more time with Arthur and at home and like looking after my things and painting and devoting to my studio practice and to my business which it's amazing so I should be actually happy that I didn't get selected you know Yesterday was the weirdest day ever. I think that I had literally all the emotions in the same day. The moon's in concert, so there was some crying. I managed to paint, but I still have to finish those paintings. They, they are like three small paintings. They look super cute. Something super exciting is happening today. I am going to town very soon. Just need to shower and dress up. Um, and train Arthur and eat. Ah, oh, fuck, I have so many things to do. But the thing is, I'm, I'm getting tattooed by my friend, and uh, as you guys know, I'm going to the market on Sunday. So I really want to 
manage some sort of display you know to display my my prints and the postcards uh, I would like them to be more like standing instead of just on the table so that's what we are going to do today we are going to walk around town and try and see if we can find either the display itself or something that I can use as a uh, base for a DIY display construction but also I have to see like what I have at home maybe I can also try and go to the garage and try to screw some <clears throat> to screw some no to screw I always confuse conf like it's always hard for me to say like scrolling or scrolling uh, but anyway um, yeah, that's that's what we are doing today. I'm drinking coffee. I'm gonna have a shower and start to get my life together so I can go to town. And it's miserable out there. It's windy and it's rainy and it's just really bad. Like, uh, I want to wash my hair, but at the same time, I don't want to be with a wet hair for the rest of the day. So I don't know if, if I'm gonna do that. Maybe I can just manage um, to do some braids, and that's it. Hi, guys. Not easy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's just I am still a little bit over the place, but I'm so much better than I was yesterday. So that's nice. This is the outfit for getting to do it. You gotta be comfy, right? Um, I am going right now. And I was watching some videos about DIY, DIY um, display for markets and stuff. And I got some ideas and I want to go to some stores just to see if I can find anything that can help me to build a better stall, I guess. Um, wish me luck.
Lime. Ooh, it's so much it's better with Lime. It's so much better, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no. How's the leg feeling? Oh, painful. Maybe it's the universe, it doesn't want me to drink coffee, it's that late. Coffee, coffee mother, coffee. Cheers. Ching, ching. Cheers! I'm here! <laughs> it's really hard to be social and record things. That Maybe that's why I never film anything when I'm with you guys. It's delicious, Gastura. A rig de What do you think swans about dinosaurs? So well. Like swans are the size of like a small child. Or, yes. or like my entire torso. Yeah, are you afraid of them? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm interviewing you. What do you think about birds? I love birds. Especially calopsitas. Because I don't know how to say that Because you're so allergic. No no, no I'm not allergic to, to birds. So that's why you like them? Yeah, I love birds. Just because you... And I think, I think they are nice and cute. A bird, a bird died on my arms last week. illustrations and now I want to try out a setup for tomorrow so when I go to the market I don't have to think about anything everything will be like premeditated does this word exist um, anyway I'm going to try out I was thinking about things that could stand more instead of only having everything on the table because I don't think that I will have a wall available so I really need to make things stand up a little bit more and just have a better like way for people to see actually see my artworks and stuff so right now that's how my studio is looking I made I cleared up the table and now I'm going to put a cloth and see how this is going to work out because I don't even know the size of the table I'm going to have there, so yeah. But at least I want to see how I can display things in a better way, because I'm only doing that because I'm not really happy with the way I was setting up my stuff the last few markets I went. So we made it, it's finally Sunday, the day of the market, we head down to Dublin and we set up the table, I actually was very surprised by how dark everything was looking, I was in, in a place downstairs without any lightning and it was super frustrating because no one could see my work. I am a visual artist and I really rely on people being able to see my artworks. Everything is so 
detailed and I really think that it it wasn't a good experience. I know that the place looked very cozy and very like warm and nice and people were saying that it was really cozy because I heard these fairy lights and it made everything feel like a nice corner. But the reality is that even though it's cozy, I wasn't there for the coziness. I was there to sell my work and how could I sell my work if people weren't able to see anything they literally couldn't see anything and it was just so dark that i was even trying to light the artworks whenever people were around so people could see them properly like lighting with the lantern on my phone and even doing that we we weren't able to see properly anyway uh, we couldn't see the colors right, we couldn't see the details. I I am actually surprised that I made a few sales because honestly, if you can't really see the things and the, um, the details and the colors and everything, the forms and the textures, how are you supposed to buy anything, you know? So that is for today. I wasn't very happy with the location i am not sure if i would be returning to this market specifically but overall it was a nice day my sister came from spain and we kind of spent the day together and traveled back home together which was a nice experience but i yeah it was just yeah i don't I, I, I really believe that this is a really nice market. Maybe I just was very unlucky to be put in such a dark place. Uh, literally, <laughs> not emotionally. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like it. I hope it was useful somehow. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.